This program contains graphic images which may be disturbing to sensitive viewers. The people profiled all survive. Discretion is advised. This is a length of solid steel rebar, a building material used to reinforce concrete. And this is Dwayne Reynolds, a man some say is a living, breathing miracle. Ever since his brief but terrifying encounter with four feet of jagged steel. On June 13th, 2001, half a dozen sections of exposed rebar were pointed straight up from a newly poured foundation at a construction site in Aurora, Colorado. Uh, I was standing on a ladder at the end of the roof, stretching insulation, putting sheets down. It was my job to make sure they were square. The ladder Dwayne Reynolds was standing on was a full 12 feet above the exposed rebar. Each section of rebar was capped with a protective plastic cap, all except one. Ladder twisted, one side held, the other side did not. It twisted out from underneath of me and I tried to grab the eave, but I, I wasn't, obviously I wasn't able to get a hold of it. And my feet got tangled in the rungs of the ladder and I got going tea kettle first. Dwayne's face got slammed into a vertical shaft of rebar, the only one of six that was uncapped. I couldn't move around at all. I was pretty much anchored to the ground. As this graphic photo shows, the rebar had rammed straight through Dwayne's head. It was definitely different than anything I'd ever seen before. It was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty gory, actually. The rebar had entered behind Dwayne's left jaw, passed through the back of the sinus, narrowly missing his brain, and finally exited through the orbit of Dwayne's right eye without smashing it to a pulp. There's just no explanation for that. It should have just gone out with the end of the bar. Dwayne was a miracle, all right, but he was still a miracle with a bar stuck in his head. Now, Bertram and his medical team had to figure out how to get it out. Everybody was standing around saying, well, what do we do now? And so as soon as I grabbed, I said, OK, guys, and I grabbed the rebar, and everybody else just grabbed his head because we didn't know what kind of resistance or what kind of bleeding and that rebar just slipped out amazingly easy, and there was very little bleeding. After three hours of delicate reconstructive surgery to repair his eye socket and the insertion of three metal plates in his skull, remarkably, Dwayne was on the road to recovery. And I immediately started telling him how God had taken care of him, that this was a, pretty, this was a miracle. There's a scar here. This is where the rebar went in. There's a plate located here, one right here, one under my eye to support the tissues and muscles, and there's one in this general area right here that was holding the fracture together. Six screws, several screws here, several screws here to hold the face. Unbelievably, the only lasting effects Dwayne suffers today are occasional headaches and double vision. I'm unlucky that the accident happened. I'm lucky the path that the rebar took, and I'm lucky the fact that I'm still here.